I've gotten so many DMs and messages everywhere asking, why do you not have any El Estapario Sibiriano videos on a YouTube channel? And I don't have a good excuse of why not. So let's change that. I'm excited. Let's go. We have the uh, the disclaimer that he's using the Duelist single double pedal. Roger that. It's all good, man. You're going to do more with any pedal setup than we'll ever do. We're, we're just here to watch the gods here. Those beefy flams. Mm. God, the groove here. Sorry, we got to go back. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, we do a lot of stops and starts. And we go back and talk about stuff. The introduction the, from the big beefy flams that we're getting over here on the uh, the tom, which is really another snare drum. You can see it's in the on position. It's just like just much thicker than this one and tuned down. And we have some nice muffling on it. So, but it's functioning as a tom. We'll just call it the tom. Uh, the huge flams on there and the way the timbre of this drum is versus this one. Once we get into the groove, it's just a beautiful. We got two beautiful tones going on. Look at those flams. And I got to say, I'll just say it once, the tone of the kick drum, the tuning here and miking is just really, really good. But what's coming up? The whatever roll pa pair diddle diddle thing going on. I love how we have the one accent over there on the tom. The grouping is really, really nice. So we got the five stroke roll cross stick thing going on and it kind of moves up the rim of the drum. There's some motion there. And then we release to the gravity blast on the rim here of the Tom. What? How did you think of this groove? This is conceptually really, really great. One more time. Man, I've heard a lot of covers of the song. I'm speaking for myself, I can comfortably say I've never heard anybody take that interpretation on the drum and make it that melodic underneath such like a famous like current melody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that it's such an expressive way to approach the groove, but it's still Here's the thing though. It's not even though this is like a drum cover and the focus is the drummer, it's still supportive. Like it's by no means I know, but we're gonna go somewhere else, I'm sure, because I've seen enough of this, his videos on TikTok and Instagram to know that we're gonna go somewhere that's very dominating. But right here, the focus is still the song, which is impressive, while demonstrating some ridiculous things like who does this? Who else besides him plays like this? I don't know. I don't know anybody. Hey. I was wondering where the other two sticks, where they come into play. I didn't want to say anything. I was like, I know it's going to come up. Cool. All right. So let's talk about the consistency. Yeah, the most replayed section. No shit. I'm not surprised. Let's talk about the consistency of the left hand on the snare drum here, because this is really, really nice. We're pretty much traveling not too far on the rim. The strike zone is going to have a good, consistent sound, which is going to be beautiful for like, if you're the person in the studio mixing the stuff, considering how much movement is happening around. Like for those of you that don't play that watch these videos for the point of being awed by him, that's really cool. Uh, you just need to know there's a really physical demand that is uh, greater than normal being that he's displaying here that would normally interrupt your flow. His flow is not interrupted because obviously the practice hours and the, uh, the fluidity and complexity of a skill set mastery that's being displayed here. This is really nice. <laughs> Judge me. I can't see clearly when you're 
Talk about using the bass drum to finish phrases. Each of that, we got at the end of all that. And then we kick it away. We just play in the snare. And then that phrase ends with only the bass drum. We're talking about things that are either times two times four against the beat. So things are like, you know, depending on how you're counting the song, if you're thinking this is a half note, that's where I'm thinking. I'm thinking quarter notes right here. So those are 16ths for me. However you count it, it's fine. It doesn't matter. But point being, everything is multiple by two or four. And it's not mathematically complicated. It's just taxing on the stamina. We're only a minute in, obviously, and we know it's going to get crazy. But I'm just praising how well it works, though, because the, the idea behind it is simple, but it, it it supports everything that's going on musically. Trust me, those of you out there that you watch, you listen to a lot of drummers, you've heard a lot of drummers ruin songs that they play on because they just feel like, I'm going to say everything I can say possibly at once, and it's too much. This is like the best example I've seen in the past like years of someone that has so much to say, but says it in a very musical way. Listen to how like lyrical that is. Okay, I, that's what I wanted to pause right there. I wanted to see... We have, let me see if I can get in the camera. Uh, where's my hand browsed with the camera? We have thumb on top with this and then gripping this with third finger. And sorry, where's that? Fourth finger underneath. That's a really interesting technique to play uh, on the hi-hat. Wait, that's the hi-hat. Is he, oh, is he rocking double hi-hat? He is rocking double hi-hat. I did not even notice that until right now. My God, dude. So super unconventional setup, which is pretty awesome. You know, obviously with the two snare drums here. Did not my eyes did not even see that until he did that. So that's pretty cool. So what that allows him to do is still be you still gonna get that layer which you normally play like because a normal person doesn't have the brain or the ability to do this. But he's able to isolate that on one hand and then with the left hand play all this other stuff and then his feet are still gonna give you multiples of two or multiples of four and that's why this all works so well. God conceptually, what a freaking genius, man! Let's just go back and enjoy this phrase uh, again in context. So good. The other thing I'm going to praise here, uh, I'm a big, you know, I'm a sucker for quality of sound and consistent quality of sound, meaning as we're moving around, we're doubling. Sometimes he's doubling up kick drum with the, the, the modified hi-hat over on his right side. There's all the demand of playing back and forth like this in front of your body is there. Every single backbeat on the snare sounds the same. It is perfect, exact same volume. That is really, really important. Sit down and try to do this. I guarantee you, you will not have consistency in your sound, at least at first. Uh, so I'm just trying to appreciate all the musicianship that is going into that. We're at 126. Let's go back to one, uh, oh, about 110 here. And then just think about that and just listen to just the snare drum and how it sounds perfectly the same every single time. But the fluidity of going out of that into the chorus and grabbing those two sticks, like, uh, sorry, I, I just dropped the stick there. Uh, this would not be a successful thing for me at all. Let's say I, say I even had the chops to even play the rest of it. Just that thing. I'd be like, oh, I'm done. Take 27. Oh, take 28. You know, you feel me? Go. That's what I'm talking about, man. 
Look how much passion is there. Matt, that was oh fuck yeah, dude. You got some you guys you can tell he's got some swing background in there. Uh I just love the four on the floor, just in your face, just pumping, man. Like it's such a traditional role on the drum kit, but look how much passion. You could put the passion meme, the more passion, more power, more passion right there, except he doesn't need more. He's he's he would be saying that to you. You know what I'm talking about? It is so in your face right here. I just absolutely love it. Right here. One, two, three, ten. We call those money beats in the drum world because that's what you're going to get paid to do. For most, if you're not a God tier person like him, most of you, the 90% of you that you got gigs, that's what you're playing right now. Mm. The guy at the end there, that is so good. So all that, between all that passion playing, the money beats us on there, it's just the fluidity. And I know the, the pedal kind of helps out with what he talked about with the disclaimer in the beginning, but it's still, it's the fluidity of it all. And sometimes when something, we've talked about it twice, we'll talk about it one more time, thrice, times two or times four, when it's underneath a song like this, it works so perfect. So you have to have the brain space to be like, this is what's going to, I'm going to plug this in. This is going to be how we support everything else going on, but yet it's still so musical. And that's where he wins, in my opinion. Like, I, there's so many monster players out there. I totally get that. And, you know, this dude has kind of taken over as, like, you know, social media just reaching so many ears, which I think is great. And speaking of a social media, I'm just going to say it once. No, I mean, at least for this video. You want to watch the best video on YouTube for me, in my opinion, is his when he celebrates getting a million subscribers because it goes over his work ethic and just, like... <laughs> his aptitude and attitude and how something changed from approaching music in the beginning to taking it more serious. And it's a complete a hundred percent, more than hundred percent of applying yourself, the result you get. That is why I respect this guy so much. I think that's why I just never did a video on the channel yet. Not that I don't respect the other artists that we do. I just been watching him so much on other um, elements, mainly like short form content and just being like, yeah, man. So when I went and watched that video, I was like, dude, this is, you want young people to be inspired. They should watch his million subscriber video. That's like the best message you could ever send people because it applies to any aspect of life. Whatever you're doing in your life, if you go and listen to him talk for that 10, what 15 minutes, whatever the video it is, and you apply it to whatever medium you're studying, you will be successful. That That is the secret to life. There, it, It's hard work and dedication and improving yourself and being humble when you do it. Like, this dude is like a hero aspect as far as that regards. Sorry, we're rambling. I know. We'll get back to the music. I just I just want to say I really respect this guy. But there's two more minutes. What is the rest hey of this video? Hey everyone, how are you doing? Sweet. Okay. Well, I think he's probably talking about that pedal, which is awesome. I've actually watched the video about the pedal before. So there we go. I love this guy. I think that's pretty apparent. Who cares what I think? I want to know what you think. Let me know down in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. Make sure to catch me when I'm live on Twitch. A link for all my socials is down in the video description below. If you like this video, click that like button. If you did not like it, click the dislike button. We're almost at 200K. Subscribe to the channel. Help me get there, please, and thank you. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.